Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Myesis, and we're looking at lesson 3 4 for the uh, essentials of calculus Impl implicit differentiation. So, uh, how is this different than regular differentiation? You're going to see it's, well, implicit. <laughs> the other one was explicit. Let's take a look. So, let's take a look. Let's take it. There we go. So all derivatives you've done at this point have been explicit equations, which means y equals y equals y equals y equals. That's explicitly expressed. What we're going to look at is implicitly expressed. Now that's an implicit equation it means that x and y might be on the same side, or we have might have an x squared. We might have um, an x times y. Those are all examples of an implicit equation. Now, in order to do the derivative of those, we've got to do some a special type of differentiation called implicit differentiation. So here is what you do. First, we're going to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. So when you do this, you're going to use a little bit of that uh, general power rule, and your hook on is going to be y prime. So anytime you see a y, you're going to automatically put a y prime next to it. Or, or anytime you see a, D, a y, you might put a dy dx next to it because dy dx and y prime mean the same thing, right? They're just two different notations. Then after you do that, you're going to collect all the y primes or all the dy dx's, all of them together on one side of the equation, put everything else on the other side of the equation, factor out the y prime from when you gathered them all together, and then you're going to divide everything else to the other side and you have your y prime. Let's take a look at some examples. So the first thing I'd like you to do on the other end of this video is I'd like you to try these warm-up examples. So pause uh, pause real quick and try these warm-up examples to differentiate. This is just to kind of get your brain back at remembering things. I want you to, to remember though dy dx and y prime mean the same thing. All right, so pause it now. Bring me back. Here we go. So dy dx is 1, right? dy dx is 2x. dy dx is 2 times 2x minus 1 times 2. Okay, I used the chain, the general power rule there, or the chain rule. Y, dy dx is 2f of x, f prime of x. There's the chain rule. The ch -ch chain rule. All right, then one equals 2y times y prime. Ah, switch it up on you. Instead of dy dx, I use y prime. Okay, so remember what I said is when we take the derivative of y with respect to x, we're going to take the chain rule, 2y, and then the hook on is y prime. That's basically implicit differentiation. All right, let's take a look at some examples with some real guys here. All right, let's go and find y prime. So my first step is to differentiate everything in terms um, with respect to x. So I'm going to have 2x. When I say with respect to x, I just mean whenever I do the derivative of something with an x, I don't need to put an x prime or something like that. I only have to deal with it when I do a y. So here I've got 2y cubed, which is 6 y squared, so I used the power rule, times the hook on, which was y prime, plus the derivative of 3x is 3, the derivative of 6 is a constant, so it's 0. So my second step here is to get everything that's not a term with y prime in it to the other side, keep the y primes on this side. So we're going to keep them separated, all right, negative 2x minus 3. Then I'm going to factor out the y prime. In this case, I really don't need to factor out anything. I'm just going to divide negative 6y squared to both sides. And I'm going to get y prime equals 2x plus 3 over 6y squared. All I did was get, I changed all these to plus right there because they were all negatives. So I want them all positives here. All right. You could have left it like that too. All right. Find the slope of the lines tangent to and normal to the graph of x squared plus 4x for y squared minus equals 25. So at the point 3, 2. So in order to find the slope of the tangent line, we need to find the derivative. And we need to find the derivative at that x value. So we, what we're really looking for is y prime. So we're going to do this implicitly. 
2x plus 8y. What do we do when there's a y? We put a y prime. Whenever we take a derivative with a y, we put a y prime. All right, so now we're going to have, we're going to go and solve this for y prime. Now you could, since you're looking for the slope of tangent lines, we could go ahead and plug in 3 and 2 right away if we wanted to. And we can get uh, 2 times 3 plus 8 times 2 times y prime equals 0, and then solve for y prime. But over here, I'm going to go and just solve it so we get some practice. And we get y prime equals negative 2x over 8y. And then I'm going to go and plug in 3 for x, 2 for y. So I'm going to get y prime equals negative 2 times 3 over 8 times 2. And that's going to give me negative 3 eighths. That's my slope of my tangent line. So that means the slope of my normal line is going to be 8 thirds, right? Negative reciprocal. All I wanted was a slope. I didn't need the equation, so I found my answers right there. All right, let's take a look at some more examples. I've got two more examples for you of using implicit differentiation. So given that x cubed, my, okay, so we're given this implicit equation, find dy dx and evaluate it at the point 1, 2. So we're going to go ahead, and this time I'm going to use dy dx, dy dx instead of y prime. Let's differentiate. Okay, x, 3x squared minus, uh-oh. See how we have x times y? x times y there is a product rule. Ooh, I snuck in a product rule in there. Let's go and do the product rule. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this in parentheses, and I'm going to have... Uh, 2x is going to be my first one, and y is going to be my second one. So I have the first times the derivative of, this is the first one's 2x, the derivative of the second, what's the derivative of y? dy dx plus y times the derivative of the first, which was 2. Okay, the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, so we got rid of that. Now we need the derivative of this. So it's 3y squared times dy dx. Again, I'm using dy dx instead of y prime just because the derivative of 5x is 5. Now, remember, I said the second step here is to take every all the y prime terms, keep them on one side, take everything else, throw it on the other side. So the first thing I'm going to do just so that we don't mess up our algebra here is I'm going to I'm going to uh, distribute the negative and then I'm going to keep the stuff so 3y squared dy dx minus 2x dy dx equals 5 plus 2y minus 3x squared now how did I get that I added 2y over and I subtracted 3x squared over so that I could get all the dy dx stuff on one side, all the other stuff on the other side. Now, the next step is to factor out dy dx. So you're going to see here how I factor out. I got two terms with the dy dx. I'm going to factor that guy out. And I'm going to have 3y squared minus 2x equals 5 plus 2y minus 3x squared. And then finally, dy dx is equal to 5 plus 2y minus 3x squared over 3y squared minus 2x. Because I'm going to just take all this stuff and divide it over to the other side. <sighs> take a breath. This is my answer for dy dx. Now it said evaluate it at the point 1, 2. So I'm just going to plug in 1 for x, 2 for y. So dy dx evaluated at the point 1 comma 2 that's how I write evaluate at the point 1 comma 2 is going to be 5 plus 2 times 2 minus 3 times 1 squared over 3 times 2 squared minus 2 times 1 when all is said and done that's going to be 3 fifths okay 
All right, so that is, an ex there's another example of implicit differentiation. I got one more. All right, one more. This time we're going to do it twice. So we've got this and we're going to do two of them here. So we're going to do our implicit differentiation once. 2x plus 2y times what? y prime equals 0. Now, in order to do um, this when I do a second derivative implicitly, I really do need to solve for y prime. So I'm going to subtract the 2x over, and then I'm going to divide by 2y, and I'm going to get um, negative 2x over 2y, which is negative x over y. Now that I have y prime by itself, I'm going to take the second derivative. So y prime, the derivative of that is y double prime. So now I got to take the derivative of this. Oh, that is a quotient, so I got to use the quotient rule. So low d high minus high d low, the derivative of y is y prime. Square the bottom, and away we go. Okay, so now I've got to do some little simplifying here, so I'm going to bring this up here a little bit. Okay, so y double prime is equal to negative y plus x y prime over y squared. What was y prime? I knew what y prime is, so I'm going to go, y prime is this right here. So I'm going to actually plug this back in here. So I'm going to have negative y plus x times negative x over y over y squared. Right. And this is, uh, this is you know, we're not simplifying, but this so, so that's kind of sufficient there. But if you want me to simplify, I will. I'll show you right now what that looks like simplified. So we're going to have um, a common denominator here, negative y plus, oops, negative y minus x squared over y over y squared. I'm just going to multiply the top and bottom by y. And I'll have negative y squared minus x squared over y cubed. Okay. Now, if you really want to get really tricky, check this out. Factor out a negative, and I get x squared plus y squared. What was x squared plus y squared? It was 3. Negative 3 over y cubed. Is it all the way simplified? Now, that's getting a little tricky there. But um, if you want to do that, you can do that. I think they, they probably take your original answer for that. Um, but I, I just want to make a, the, uh, the point clear here that sometimes we need to use the product rule. And then whenever we're doing the second derivative, it's almost always likely that whatever we got for the first derivative is going to need to go back into our equation for our second derivative. All right. All right, guys, there we go. There is implicit differentiation. We'll catch you next time.